Hey guys, my name is Dr. Lara here at Heronland San Juan Hospital. Today I'm here with Midnight. And Midnight is a wolf hybrid. He's about two years old. And so the topic of the video today is going to be um, e collars or Elizabethan collars or cones or the cone of the healing, not the cone of shame. And so um, Midnight is having an issue with his scrotum. He is licking his scrotum incessantly to the point where he is licking it raw. And we are trying to figure out whether or not it's because he's got some sort of infection or he's got some sort of underlying disease that's causing that rawness. Now, when I spoke to the dermatologist, we do make a habit here at Heron Lakes Animal Hospital of consulting with experts on a regular basis. Um, they did say, we wanna make sure that it's not that he's actually causing it. So we wanna go ahead and put the cone of healing on. And so one of the main topic about this video today is how the cone fits. Now. When you have these kinds of cones, there are two kinds of uh, fits. First is going to be around the neck. And so what you'll notice is on these cones, they have belt loops. So even if the cone is loose around the neck, typically what you can do is you could feed a collar through here, or you can even feed some sort of uh, shoelace or something like that that will go ahead and prevent it from sliding off the neck. The other fit, which is really important, and this is going to be the more important fit. That's going to be how far their nose is from the edge of the cone. Now, on this particular cone, ideally, their cone, their nose, the nose of whichever dog wears this collar, should only come up to here. Because what's going to happen is they're going to go ahead and try and reach something, and when they push, their nose is going to be able to come out a little bit more. And with midnight, his nose is actually able to come out to here. So if you guys notice, it, it, the nose is already coming out. And so dad was wondering why at night his scrotum was wet. And so as soon as I walked into the room, I saw this cone is going to be too short for midnight. Midnight is going to need one of those giant collars um, because he is such a massive dog. I don't know if you guys can appreciate it in this video, but midnight is 120 pounds. He is half German Shepherd, half Timberwolf. And I will let you know, uh, you know sometimes uh, wolf hybrids have a reputation for being a little, you know, on the, on the iffy side. Midnight is one of the most friendly dogs that comes here. He's super excited. Right now, he's just, you know, not thrilled because dad, I know, I know, I know. Dad is not in the room. But in all honesty, Midnight is one of the nicest dogs that comes here. So at the end of the day, one of the other things that dad talked about, and I talked to dad about, was getting a bodysuit. Now with the body suits, Midnight will be able to potentially lick through it and make the scrotum moist. And we don't want that scrotum moist, okay? The other thing that dad is doing is he's also getting him some diapers. Now the diapers, those are thick. And so depending on the thickness of whatever material it is that you're using to cover the incision site, whether it's on the abdomen, whether it's on the forearm, whether it's on the scrotum, it is important if it's really thick, then that might help prevent what's going on. Dad also looked into buying one of those inflatable collars that kind of looks like a, like a hemorrhoid pillow or something like that, or a life preserver. Those are better suited if you have something that's kind of like right here or right here, um, because the dogs won't be able to really reach it. But I don't have a whole lot of confidence in that being able to prevent a dog like Midnight from being able to lick his scrotum. So if you guys have any questions about this particular video, please leave it in the comment box. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. And if you know somebody who needs to see this video, please share it with them. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Midnight.